welcome back to another video. Now, this video has got a slightly different theme, and the theme of this video is exploration. Now, the reason that I'm deciding to do kind of an exploration video is because I've been getting a lot of questions asking me, you know, like, how do I find the creeks that I fish, and stuff like that. And I'm gonna kind of go through that step by step in today's video, and hopefully not run into too many spider webs along the way. Before we get too far down into this hollow right here, I'm going to make an announcement. I guess it's an announcement. There's another spider web. And that is that we finally have merch that we're selling. Um, I'm wearing the shirt right now, actually. Hardman Fishing Adventures. Um, I got a design made for the shirt, like, it's been months ago now. And I just haven't had time to put it together. And Andrew, shout out to Andrew, actually put this shirt together and we are now able to sell them. So if you go down below the YouTube video, you'll see the shirts listed. Should be in like a little banner below YouTube. This is gonna be the first ever apparel drop and it's not gonna last forever. So I'll probably keep it up for a couple months or something like that, maybe, maybe not even that. And the reason I'm doing that is because we have like some really cool ideas for merchandise, but um, we can't really do it with Teespring. So to actually accomplish some of our ideas, we're gonna have to go way more in depth and actually order t-shirts and ship them out ourselves and stuff like that, which since I have a job and Andrew also has a job, it's gonna be really tough for us to do that. So basically this merchandise or this little apparel drop is going to help us see how much interest there is in the t-shirts and the hoodies. So we're doing t-shirts, hoodies. I don't have the hoodie on because it's like 75 degrees and I don't need a hoodie on. But the point is, is to see the interest in them. So if you guys would like to purchase a t-shirt, help show some support to us, and hopefully as a reward in the future, we will come out with some much more detailed slash cooler merch or have like very specific merch drops for series that we have ideas for and stuff like that. So hopefully this is just the tip of the iceberg and the beginning of some really cool things to come. But anyway, I wanted to announce that. Go check it out down below the YouTube video and let us know what you think. All right guys, so I'm starting off with a pretty decent sized elk hair caddis just because I'm assuming that the brook trout in here aren't gonna be too picky. And this is just a good dry fly because it floats really easily. And basically what I'm gonna do, I mean, I've never been to this creek. I don't see why there wouldn't be brook trout in here, but I've never been here. So I usually move water or I, I move a lot. I very rarely sit in one spot because my goal is to move through as much water as possible. And hopefully here in one of these holes, I'll get a take be able to prove that there's fish in here. I think I just saw one. Look at my dry fly. Yep. Oh, that was a nice fish too, guys. Nice fish. You might come back for it. Depends on how much or if this creek gets fished or not. There's a nice fish too. Okay, so. That gives me confidence of proving that there are fish in here. Step one accomplished. Now we should be able to tell if we continue fishing this, like what size is in here, numbers. I just saw that fish come out from underneath this rock. All right, I'm gonna leave this fish alone. If there's fish there, there will be more. Oh, there it is, guys, it's a nice fish too. Stay pinned. And I just realized I don't have a net. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? It's a really pale colored brook trout. Really pale. Decent fish though. Chill out, buddy. I don't have a net, so I'm just gonna show you off and then pop you and you can go. Relax. Here we go. That is a native Appalachian strain brook trout. Made me work for him. Nice little fish. Oh, chill, chill, chill. This release isn't gonna be very good, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. 
Bye, friend. Heck yeah, though, that's a first fish. We're on the board. We are on the board. I think this is the best hole yet, if I can cast into it without getting stuck. And I had a hit. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do real quick, I've had a few hits, but I haven't had anything actually eat it, or I've missed them. What I'm gonna do is downsize my dry a little bit. Um, the, uh, my other concern with this creek, just right off rip, I can tell you guys, is that it's got a lot of sedimentation in the stream bed, which means that it probably, at some point during the year, gets really muddy. And it was probably really muddy even this week. But the reason sedimentation is bad is because that kind of prevents brook trout from spawning. So, if this creek has sedimentation issues, but there are still brook trout in here, that leads me to believe that there's probably a tributary up here somewhere that has, um, that is clean and allows reproduction. So I'm gonna head up here around the corner because I think I can see a tributary right up above me. And if that is the case, then I might fish up it or look and see which one looks the cleanest and fish up that creek. Because there's just not, there's not many fish here. Like the numbers aren't that great. I've seen one fish that I think was probably close to 10 inches, so there's some decent fish in here, but the numbers are not great. So that's the plan. I'm just going to, I'm kind of thinking out loud for you guys so that you can uh, kind of get a look inside my mind and see how slash why I catch some of these fish and it'll hopefully help you in the future. I just saw a fish eat a dry that I can think I can catch. Problem is I'll have to catch over this log, which means the fish is gonna be, basically that means the chance of me landing it is zero. But he did eat a dry and I'm gonna catch it. You ready? Let me go ahead and call this cast because I'm gonna hit this fish pretty much on the head, but I'm not gonna land it. Three, two, one. <laughs> the fact that I called it that closely is pretty impressive. He'll hit again. Let's make a launcher. That didn't go too far. Ooh! Told you that would happen. I don't know what my, pro my thought process is here now. Oh, he's still on. I don't even know if I can get in there because it's so dang deep. I'm stuck on the log probably. Can we go over here? Okay. Whoopsie doo. There you go, guys. I knew I'd catch this stupid fish. Stupid, I say very affectionately, by the way. Oh, this is the prettiest one of the day. Look at him. Oh, chill out. Relax. He's got some really pretty markings on him. Giant hole, though, and a little fish, which is a little surprising. Go ahead and release him. Okay, little buddy. Adios, my friend. That was fun. I was hoping it'd be a little bigger for this hole, but it's really cool. And this is right where that other tributary comes in. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out right here. Fortunately, with me doing this, like walking up here, this hole's pretty much done now. Got another one. Two fish in one hole, boys. It's looking up for us. Same size fish too. That's weird, I haven't caught any little or bigger. Now this is a little bit smaller, I guess. Relax. Relax, I'm just gonna unhook you. I said relax. I said relax. You ever wonder if you could just talk to fish and tell them? They would just be like, okay. It was two in one hole, holy cow. All right, so I found the tributary that I wanted to fish right here. A little bit of background. Um, the reason I chose to fish this creek is because there's a tributary only probably, I don't know, a mile away that has brook trout in it. And usually if you find a tributary, you find a river system that has trout in it, there's usually more than one tributary that has trout. 
very, very rarely is there just one tributary and only one tributary that has trout, unless the other tributaries have been destroyed via mining, logging, or some sort of industry. So, that's normally how I find my streams. That's how I find probably 95% of my streams, is just exploring blue lines, looking at a map, finding a tributary. If it has fish, jumping to the next tributary. If it has fish, jumping to the next tributary. And that's how I find a lot of the fish. Now, this little tributary of the creek that I've been fishing, the reason I'm gonna choose it is because as you can see, it's a little bit higher gradient. And actually, if I look at this stream from Google Earth, which I do a lot of, I use Google Earth a lot, um, I can see plunge pools from the air in this creek. So, I only have probably an hour of fishing because I have to hike way the hell out of here somewhere up that way. And so I'm not gonna be able to fish this very long, but the point of this is kind of a scouting mission to see what kind of fish are in here. And this is the type of stuff that you guys don't normally see. This is kind of the behind the scenes thing. Um, for example, like Goliath. Um, I did this, I went out after work, fished for a couple hours and I found Goliath. And then I made that little series about them. So this is what I do, you know, when I don't have much time and I don't necessarily want to make a video, I just go out and have fun and fish. Because believe it or not, I love to fish. So anyway, just wanted to go over that and hopefully I'll catch a few more fish for you guys up this little tributary here and put another stream on the list and check it off for Native Brook Trout. Right here under the thumb of a cold air A calling from something that's out Got him. Hey, little buddy. Little buddy, little buddy. First fish out of this tributary, although I've seen a few more fish. The water's cold. Really cold, actually. Can you chill out for a second? Hey, buddy. Really pale fish. This is a young fish, too. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Can you please? Oh, okay. There he goes. <laughs> I mean, it took me a hundred thousand casts to catch a fish out of that big um hole. It's like I knew there's had to be one in there, but struggle right there. Struggling. All right, so I fished up this tributary for a while, and in my opinion, it still doesn't look very good. There are brook trout in here. I've caught a few. In fact, I just caught one in the little pocket behind me, but there's still so much sediment in this creek, which is not good for brook trout whatsoever. They really need a clean bottom to spawn properly. I've seen some gravel patches, but for the most part, it's been really, really crappy looking. And that kind of lines up with the fact that I'm really struggling to catch fish. I mean, there's definitely brook trout in here, but the numbers just aren't there, um, which sucks. It's unfortunate. But I do know that the top end of this creek has some private water on it and you know who knows what the heck's going on up there uh but anyway i'm going to actually turn around and get out of here because it's only 7 15 but it gets dark really fast in these hollows so i'm gonna get out of here what i'm gonna do since i didn't really catch that many fish and it was kind of crappy um is i'm gonna go to another tributary i can't tomorrow because i'm gonna be working you know long hours tomorrow so i know i can't tomorrow wednesday i'll try to get out and hit another tributary and hopefully have a little more success. So that way you guys will see the trial and error. So like today was rough. I went to a creek that I'd never been to and it was kind of a fail. I'll probably not return to this creek anytime in the near future. And hopefully I'll fish another new stream on Wednesday. Today's Monday, by the way. Hopefully I'll fish another new stream on Wednesday and it'll be a lot better and I'll catch a bunch of trout and maybe it'll be a creek that I return to. So anyway. Hope you guys have enjoyed this, the theme of this video so far, and I'm gonna get the heck out of here and see what happens on Wednesday. But we set out to walk a thousand good miles from our hometown, leaving everyone behind as their slow fires die down. Once we left, we found it hard. So welcome back. Um, I said I was gonna fish on 
Thursday or Wednesday, but it's actually Thursday. And Wednesday, I just got super busy at work and couldn't fish, couldn't find the time to fish. But today, I have found the time to fish and I'm at yet another new creek in a completely different drainage. Um, I found this creek because I fished this system before, this river system before, and I fished several different tributaries in here that have fish. It's a pretty high elevation, so the water stays cold all year round. I think it's like, it was like 60 degrees or something when I got out of the car, which is pretty crazy considering it's August. Almost September, but it's August. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna fish up here. Um, the water's beautiful, gorgeous water, uh, really clear. It's got really good gravel, so it's the exact opposite of the last creek I fished where there's good gravel. I'm sure the fish are spawning up here, assuming they're in here, which there's no reason they shouldn't be. So I'm gonna sneak up through here and hopefully I'll be able to catch a few of these beautiful little native brook trout. Oh, right at the end of the rock. There's fish in here, boys. There's fish in here. It's right underneath this big rock on the very back end of the hole. But. The problem is the water's still low enough in here that I think the fish are sticking really close to cover. Sure, this isn't the end of the world. It makes them kind of predictable. It can also be difficult, but that was definitely a trout, which is a good thing to confirm. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Woo! This is the mega giant we've been looking for, boys. There it is, guys. Pretty orange little guy. He's got some orange spots. It's really weird. Tiny little guy. Probably, I would assume this is like young of the year. I don't actually know that. I'm just glad to get on the board. I actually saw him eat too. Oh, okay. There he goes. That's about what I would expect in here this time of the year. I think if you gave it another month, you'd probably start seeing some bigger fish. For those of you who don't know, brook trout spawn in the fall. When they spawn, they come up these little tributaries. I'm stuck on my own line. When they spawn, they come up these little tributaries. And um, a tributary like this, with as good as the uh, with as good as the gravel is, a tributary like this, they'll be spawning for sure. But they're not spawning yet. Now this is also high enough elevation that they could be getting, they might, some fish might have pushed up, but they might be lower. I don't know. I'm not seeing any size to any of the fish that I'm seeing. Which makes me think they're probably not spawning yet. Ooh, that was a bigger one. Oh no. Of course I say I've not seen any size and immediately a nice one comes out. An outstanding little hole here. One of the biggest holes I've seen yet. To be honest, I don't know how I'm going to fish it without spooking these stupid things. I know where I need to be. Such a nice fish. That log screwed me. Son of a gun. All right, guys, there's a beautiful little hole here. Something's got to come out of this. Got to. God, these fish are just so freaking annoying. 
Eat it, you sly dog. They love biting and then never coming back. It's like their MO. Got him. Right, I literally had to cast underneath that log. A beautiful little baby made of Appalachian Brookie. This one sinks more than the last one. Beautiful fish though. Not even a year old. Coming up on a year probably. The good news is, is they're spawning well in here. Thanks buddy. I mean, I had to get underneath there for that one. Okay, so I've made it up this creek and it's starting to get like too small to really fish. I'm still catching slash seeing brook trout, but they're not really that big. And I know of one other tributary down a little bit further in the creek that um, I've never fished before. So I think I'm gonna run out of here, just about, not literally run, well, maybe literally run out of here and see if I can't hit that other tributary quickly. Just fish like a hundred yards of it here before it gets dark. but. I mean, this country up here is just gorgeous. Mostly spruce and pine and we've got like little meadows up here. I mean, when you get to like this high elevation, I'm not sure what the elevation is here. I'd have to guess it's over 3000. Actually, it's not a guess. I know it's over 3000. I don't know how much over 3000, but it smells like pine. It's just unbelievable country. There's lots of deer trails in here. It's almost deer season. So I'm like checking out the deer trails and everything too as I go, but it's part of the fun of exploring. Sometimes maybe the creek isn't amazing, like this creek isn't like outstanding, but the scenery makes it worth it in my opinion. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here, try that other tributary and see what happens. All right, so I have no idea if you guys can see me very well, but I made it to the other tributary, started fishing it, and I just can't see. But I will say that I think this is the best trip that I've fished so far. Um, I'll roll some GoPro footage just to prove that you're not gonna be able to see what's going on. but. I hooked and lost one fish that I think is about six to eight inches, which from what I've seen is just outstanding. Um, the issue is I can't see, not only can I not film, but I can't see. Like I'm literally watching for riffles from a rise and then just assuming and setting the hook is what I've been doing. And it's just, it's not very conducive to showing you guys what's going on and I can't see anyway. But I think this is probably the best trip that I've fished yet. So it's probably a good thing that you guys haven't seen it very well because I'll probably be back at some point. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure type thing where I kind of show you what I do throughout the week when I can and kind of show you how I find some of the creeks that I find. Um, it's literally just a bunch of trial and error. I spend a lot of time on Google Earth looking at blue lines, looking at tributaries, seeing how long they are. And then I come out here and look at them. And then if they're long and they have good, um, good brook trout or there's good trout in it, then I usually return and try to make a video. If not, then I just keep on going. Um, I do this a lot. I enjoy doing this. I enjoy the exploration because I get to see all this beautiful country. And a lot of times I see deer. I see, I saw a bear sign today. I see all sorts of cool things. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, check out the merchandise down below. Um, another thing I forgot to mention, I realized as I was looking at the footage for the other, for the beginning of this video, is that the hoodies run like a size down. Well, they don't, but once you wash them, they shrink. So the hoodies do shrink. So if you want a hoodie, order a size up. That's my, that's what I would tell you to do. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the adventure. And hopefully you guys will enjoy the merchandise if you buy any of that. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures.